love sea glass as much as I do. It is just the coolest stuff. It takes years and years for glass to be tumbled within the water against the rocks and the sand and just the elements to wear the edges down and frost the glass and and all of that. And I live near the Gulf, but every time I've gone there, I've never been able to find sea glass. So I've wanted to use some in, a, in an upcoming project and I didn't want to purchase it. And I thought, you know what, Allison, you can make your own faux sea glass or tumbled glass. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you exactly how I got this glass to become tumbled glass or sea glass. I'm going to go ahead and get set up with supplies needed and I will be back. So what you're going to need is some glass and you want to make sure that the glass that you have is actually colored glass and not just treated with a coating. And sometimes that's hard to figure out, but I'm pretty sure all the ones that I have here, and I know for sure this one, is actual colored glass. I got this one at Dollar Tree and it's kind of a teal turquoise color. This one I picked up at Goodwill, and this one I also got at Goodwill. And a lot of times you can tell that if the bottom is colored as well, then it probably, chances are there is no treatment on this. You can also look to see if there's any kind of scratching. The treatment will be on the outside. Another key thing that you can do is soak it in water overnight. And once you've done that, if you scratch on the inside or the outside with your fingernail and the coating starts to come off, then that's not going to work. Um, so that one was from Goodwill and these two are from Dollar Tree. And I believe that these are going to be um, not treated that they are actual colored glass, but we'll find out together in this experiment. So let me get the next thing that you'll need and I'll be back. The next items that you will need are some sand and I'm actually gonna go with this very coarse sand. You can use play sand, but I think it would probably take longer uh, for the process to happen. I'm trying to kind of speed this up where I can, you know, have some sea glass within a day or two. So as you can see, this is very, very coarse. Um, I'm also going to add, um, I didn't have any pebbles in the yard and I guess I probably could have looked a little harder, but I remembered that I had this bag of water pebbles and I'm going to pick out some little ones to throw in there. And I may even add some seashells. I mean, what the heck? Let's kind of give it the environment that it was originally in and see if it works. Okay, so this is a rock tumbler that I got from Harbor Freight. It was on sale and I used a 20% off coupon, which they have all the time. And it took the price down to, I think it was like $47, which is not bad at all for a dual drum tumbler. This one got really good reviews, so we're going to try it out together. And what I have not even tried this yet, so... Hmm. We'll find out together. Um, I'll unpack it off camera, but it's got the dual drums. It's got the uh, silicone or the rubber inside of the drums, so it'll be more quiet. Um, we're going to tumble the glass in it instead of rocks to make some beautiful sea glass. And just to let you know, when you go hunting for glass, um, you can find all sorts of stuff at Goodwill, like this here. I don't think that this is a treated glass. I think that this is um, blue throughout. Actually, no, look. 
if you look closely, you can see that the coating is starting to come off. So unfortunately, if I tumble this, it's probably not all gonna stay blue. This one here is definitely blue all the way through. It's just a very light blue. And I'm gonna go ahead and get set up to break some glass with you and I'll All be right. back. So when you break your glass, you're gonna to wanna to wear protective eyewear and you're gonna to wanna to put it in some kind of a bag. And I'm just gonna use these zip bags. And the first one I'm gonna break is this red one. So I put it in the bag and I'm gonna zip the bag up, lay it down here and take my hammer. And this is the part where <laughs> you can get your aggressions out. You don't wanna go too crazy though because you want big pieces, little pieces, whatever. So let's start here. And it doesn't wanna break. Ooh, there we go. That was fun. All right, so now you look at the pieces in the bag and you just go ahead and break them up more until you're happy with what you got. And this is making my dog go nuts. I want some big ones, I want some little ones. You just kind of got to look at them, see what you got. And because I'm using these for an upcoming project. So I don't want them too big and I don't want them too small that one a little more all right I think that looks good for the red now let's go and break the blue one and I may have to get something bigger to put that in oh no I think it's gonna fit yep dogs going nuts all right here we go this might be a little harder. Nope, we got it. I love that sound. <laughs> Let's see what we got. You're not really gonna be able to control, obviously, the shapes of things, but you can kind of control the size of them. So, I don't want them too big, and I do want some small ones. So let's see what we got here. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and break the rest of them off camera and we will go inside and set up our tumbler. All right, um, I'm back in the studio. I did wanna let you know that these Dollar Tree vases, they are um, treated with color. They are not true colored glass. And the reason is when I cracked it, you could see, um, you know, that the bottom was not colored and some of the, the uh, treatment had come off on some of the pieces. I'm gonna tumble a couple in there just to see what they look like, but they're probably just gonna come out clear glass, which is fine. So I just wanna let you know that these are definitely not colored glass, they are treated. All right, my next thing, and I want to stress this completely, you have got to wear protective wear when you break this glass. Even though you're breaking it in a bag, you want to have uh, goggles on, preferably gloves on your hands. Do it in an area that if little shards get out and you walk, you know, definitely do it outside. But do it in an area that is not walked through, you know, by someone who might have bare feet because there are gonna be little shards left there and those little buggers can hurt really bad when you step on them. 
So definitely be very careful doing this project. This is definitely not a project for kids. Now, another word of advice. Once you smash your glass up, transfer your glass to another bag because that bag's gonna have holes in it from the glass, you know, puncturing it as you were hitting it. And see all these little shards? These little babies are dangerous. Please be very careful with this project. So I transferred all the glass into another bag that does not have holes and it isn't going to be releasing little shards all over my studio. I tend to like to walk barefoot, so that would not be good. All right, so I took the tumbler, one of the tumblers from my uh, rock tumbler, and I'm gonna show you how to open these because when I first tried, I was like, what? And the directions, they're not really good about showing you exactly. It just says, open the tumbler. Well, okay, well, how do I do that? So this is how you do it. The first thing you do is you unscrew this little rubber nut, our cap, then you take the washer off, then you're going to take this part off, and how I did that was very carefully released it with a flat head screwdriver. Now you're like, whoa, how the heck do I get that out? All right, well, put your rubber um, nut back on there and kind of pull this back. This is all rubber, so then it opens up, and now you're good to go. So I am going to, well, actually, I'm going to leave that on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to load some of our glass. I'm first going to put in some of this orange, which I know is just going to end up being clear, but I'm okay with that, and it'll be nice just to see what it's going to look like. Now, do as I say, not as I do. Please make sure that you have gloves on when you do this so you do not get shards in your fingers. And that might be interesting. We'll throw that in there. And I want some little pieces. I'm actually making this for an upcoming project for you guys. Um, and I wanted to add some sea glass in it. I don't have any sea glass and sea glass is not the easiest thing to find at the beach. So I figured I would make my own. So I'm just going to throw a, th a few of these in here because I really honestly think they're just going to end up being um, clear. So now we'll go to our big bag of the colors we know are going to stay colored. And we've got red, we'll throw some red in there. And we've got the blue, throw some blue in there. And I really love this turquoise. So I'm gonna throw a big piece of that in there. We'll have a big chunk and some smaller pieces. And I'm going to go put gloves on because these teeny, teeny, teeny little shards I know are going to get me. So I'll all I really need is one and probably should have something better than this. But this is all that I have available to me right now, which is better than nothing. So back to picking glass. Now these will really make some interesting sea glass. They're nice and thick. But I remember I need some little ones too because that's what I need for my project. There are some little pieces. So I need to find some of those. All right, well, rather than you guys watch me pick through glass, I'm going to do this off camera and I'll be All right. I have now added as much as I want to add. Um, it's about a quarter of the way full. They suggest halfway to three quarters, um, but we're going to try it like this. Here's a piece I missed. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully take this glove off in case there's any little shards on it. 
And now we are right. The first thing I want to do is weigh what I have. These tumblers can hold up to three pounds each. So I want to see what I've got in the way of glass so far. I did add a little more and we're about a little under half. So we're at almost two pounds. Now I want to go ahead and add my rocks, which I've got about a handful here. And I decided not to add the seashells because all my seashells were so pretty and I didn't want to ruin them. So I've got about a handful of these water pebbles and I'm going to put those in. And now I am going to add my sand. And I'm just gonna kinda eyeball that. And I haven't really used all that much, so we'll just put a little bit more in. You really want a lot of coarseness in there to um, you know, scratch at that glass and, and scratch at those sides to smooth them out and even them out. And the last step is we are going to add water just up to, let's level this out, just up to what's in there. So right now we're at two pounds, three ounces. So I'm gonna add water just to the bottom of where the glass is. Well, it went a little higher, but that's okay. So now we have our water. And I think I'm actually gonna dump a little so bit. So I dumped a little bit out and we are just under the level of what's in there, okay? So I'm gonna weigh it again. Now the reason I'm weighing this is because if it's over three pounds, which is what it, now we're at two pounds, seven ounces. So that's good. You don't want to overburden your your tumbler because what it'll do is it will either burn your motor out or it will break your belt and then you won't have use of a tumbler until you replace those parts. So now all we have to do is go ahead and close this up. And to do that, you just put the lid on and carefully pull this around so that you can push the lid down. You wanna be careful when you're using um, anything sharp with this because you don't want to um, compromise the seal that will be on here to keep that water in. So I'm just kind of putting it in and pushing while the screwdriver's in there. Then you push down, make sure it's on there tight, unscrew this. We're gonna put our lid back on and go ahead and put the washer back on and screw the plastic nut back on. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to the tumbler and we'll get the process started. All right, so this is gonna be a little shaky because I gotta hold the camera, but here is the tumbler. Um, I've already loaded this one with something and I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be for another uh, project and it's an experiment. And if it comes out, I'll share it with you. If it doesn't, no one ever know I made a boo-boo. So what we're going to do is put the second one in there and it's resting here. And that one is resting here. 
and we're going to go ahead and turn the unit on. And that's all there is to it. We have to wait till uh, in 24 hours, I'll be back. We'll open it up, we'll see what they look like. If we need to go more time, then we'll go ahead and do that. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so it has been 24 hours and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the tumbler off and we're gonna check and see what we have so far. And I'll probably want to do it for another 24 hours, but let's see what we've got. Yeah, I brought in some water so that we can clean the pieces off. And let me grab some paper towels to dry them so that we can see. Hopefully we have some progress. All right, so we've got our sand and our pebbles. And here's a nice piece of glass. It looks like the edges are getting rounded, definitely. They are not sharp anymore. I'm not, I will not cut myself on them. So that looks good. Um, let me put a piece here that we can put that on. And what else? We've got a blue one here. Let's see if we can find one that's more interesting to look at. All right, this one definitely, the edges have gotten rounded on that and it's no longer sharp. And here's our orange that I knew was gonna end up turning clear. And it's got a, looks like a scratch or a crack in it. What else we've got? Let's find a blue one. Here's a pretty good blue one. And a red piece. And let's see, one more. Here's a good size turquoise one. That looks pretty. And let me see if I can find another interesting blue one. I know I had a, the top to the bottle in here somewhere. It's probably down at the bottom of all of this. That's a cool one. That's kind of cool. It would be interesting to find that bottle top, though. But it's down in the bottom of the... And as you can see, the water is no longer clear. It's becoming kind of sludgy, but it's still fairly uh, runny. Here's a good red one. All right, these look shiny because they're wet. Let me put this off to the side. So we're going to go ahead and dry them and we're going to see if we have gotten any of the frost yet to the glass that will resemble beach glass. And oh yeah, Definitely frost going on there. Very nicely frosted for sure. Let's see how the blue looks. Get the edges. The red. Yeah, these look pretty cool. And this is just 24 hours. I am probably going to let this go another 24. Actually, I know I'm going to do that. We'll let it go another 24. 
um, and check it and then possibly go another 24 after that. But I just wanted to pull them out and check the edges. Um, this one's still a little sharp. Not too bad though. And I think that looks like it probably um, fractured there while it was in the tumbler and made a new break, so that needs to wear down. This one's kind of cool. But yeah, all these edges that were really sharp, I can touch them now without getting cut. So it is definitely working and I'm excited about that. Very excited about that. So that's a good formula with the sand and the rocks. Um, that's that coarse sand. And that's cool looking too. So this is what we have so far. We still need to tumble to get rid of that shiny. Whoop! And the other side still needs to tumble as well. But look at the frost on that. That definitely looks awesome. And the red, that's looking pretty good. And the blue, the edges still are a little shiny. So those need to wear down a little more. And this chunk of blue, that's looking pretty cool. This red one, definitely frosted up. And the blue, like I said here, I believe that cracked just recently in the tumbler. So that will need to uh, keep going, but look at that. Look at that turquoise. That is so pretty. And that was a Dollar Tree. Oop, a Dollar Tree glass. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. So I am going to put these back into the tumbler. And we are going to tumble them for another 24 hours. I don't need to add any more water. I think we're good with sand. We're good with rocks. We have a mixture that's working. It took that shiny glass and turned it matte. So I'm gonna go ahead, prep this by putting the lid back on. I have to clean the lid up because you don't want any sand on the edges to break that seal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, put it back on the tumbler, and I'll be back in 24 hours. All right, it has been 48 hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And hopefully we have nice rounded edges and everything's looking like some sea glass. What I'm going to do is we are going to, I have a big bowl here and a strainer, and I am going to pour this into there, and then I'm going to um, take this out and clean everything up. Um, I To do this, do not dump, if you see, there's some pretty nasty stuff under here. You do not want to pour that down your sink. So I'm going to take this out in the yard and I'm going to hose all this off and clean it up and we will be back to inspect our pieces. I'm excited. So when you take um, the stuff outside and clean it up, make sure that you clean your tumbler out really good and let that dry um, before putting it back together and it'll be ready for another day of tumbling. All right, here is all of the glass. I'm gonna pour it out here, and we've got our little pebbles in there as well. I've got some big pieces and some really little pieces, and it's all still wet, so it still looks very shiny.
So I'm gonna need to dry these off and then we will go ahead and take a look at them. But yeah, I am like super happy with, look at the, the well, it's minus the hair on my fingers. Um, the edges are so freaking smooth. Look at that. Oh, I'm excited. Look at those edges. They're just not ragged or sharp anymore. Here's kind of a cool one. Clear. Um, where's that top? Ooh, that's really cool. That came out very rounded. And this is just 48 hours in the tumbler um, with what I mixed in there with the pebbles in the sand. And here's the top to that wine bottle. And look at how smooth those edges are. Oh, yes. I'm excited this worked. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick out the pebbles and dry everything off so it's not looking shiny anymore and we will inspect them again. All right, this is my batch of sea glass. I got a ton of it out of that uh, tumbler. So I'm just gonna kinda go through them instead of picking up each one, but look at this. This is amazing. I am so excited with the results. Just very rounded edges and extremely frosted. Look at all these little pieces I got. And I got, I, I did these little pieces for an upcoming project. Look at that one there, that long uh, turquoise one that was <clears throat> excuse me that was that teal bottle or turquoise bottle uh, not bottle glass that I had gotten from Dollar Tree let me see if I can get things to focus better but I got all these little pieces and here's that red vase that I picked up at Goodwill and that came out really nice and this is more of that glass those darker pieces those were actually from the bottom of that glass and the lighter pieces were the outside of the glass. So this is just 48 hours. That clear, that was once that orange vase from Dollar Tree that was just color treated. It was not actual uh, orange glass, but I'm happy with it because now I've got uh, clear um, tumbled glass or, or sea glass also. And that blue was the wine bottle that you saw me smashing in the beginning of this tutorial. And there's the lid or the lip to the bottle. That's really cool. I am just so freaking happy, um, with the results on this. And that's just a little bit of wet on there still. So yeah, this is, this is what you can do with broken glass and a rock tumbler and a whole lot of patience. You know, I can actually go longer than the 48 hours and get even more rounded edges. So you don't need to stop here. You know, I just, just decided to stop here. There may be a few pieces that I'm going to run back through the tumbler that have a little more pointy like uh, that one there is just a tad pointy at the top. I really love that one. Um, these big pieces, I mean, look at this piece here. These are just so stinking cool. I am just so happy. So yeah, that is what you can do with a whole lot of patience and a uh, rock tumbler. I hope that you found this um, tutorial helpful and I hope it inspires you. There's so many things that you can do with your faux sea glass. You can wire wrap it, you can add it into mosaics. Um, I'm going to be doing a future uh, tutorial with the smaller pieces. Add it into your polymer clay pieces to create pendants. I mean, really the sky is the limit. Um, 
I do want to mention these are tumbled glass. These are not sea glass, and it would be wrong to pass them off as sea glass. So just keep that in mind if you are going to sell your projects or that you're going to sell anything that you create with these to not misinform people that they are actually sea glass. Sea glass is quite hard to find. There are certain parts of the country that it's prevalent. I don't live in any of those. I've always been fascinated by sea glass and I'm just really happy that I can create my own version of sea glass and use it to create many beautiful things. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell to uh, get notifications of when I post free tutorials. Please give me a thumbs up and until next time, thanks for watching.